Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rukahakwadash. I'm Taziar Gabor from Prophets of Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of Prophets of Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida camp. The honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone at peace and sal salutation all down to the whole feet leg. Scattered abroad, pushing out this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. And this scripture came to my mind as I'm laying here, you know, in my room, meditating. You know, the scripture, Psalms 34 and 7, came into my head. And, you know, this, this is going to be a quick hitter video. All right. And I'm getting to it. So, Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So, the Lord has his angels, you know, all throughout the sky, you know, even if you don't see them. Because we know through the spirit, the, the angels, they're in these chariots and these chariots, they can take form of a cloud, you know, they can do that gor gorilla warfare, you know, camouflage, blend in with the sky. The best believe there are thousands and thousands of them up there and they're constantly watching and looking over brothers. It's like you're looking over brothers that's in this truth. You know. And, you know, don't get discouraged if you don't really see the chariots, you know. Because I was I was in that situation one time about two months ago, which I did a video a testimony on this. I was outside doing something at around four in the morning, which you know this happened randomly. You know I just went outside to um, go check on something, and I was thinking how I never see chariots in the sky. And I was getting discouraged, like, dang, is the Lord dealing with me? I don't never see chariots. And right before I finished my thought, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, ordered a, a chariot to fly above my house across my bedroom. You know, it could have flew anywhere. It flew right across my bedroom, that specific spot. And it was my favorite color, you know. Which, which that was a, a spiritual boost for me, you know? And these chariots are all throughout the sky. All you have to do is look up, you know? That's all you have to do. And the Lord is, is dealing with his men, the prophets. Lord willing, we are the hopeful elect, you know? As we going through this walk, chastisement, you know, brothers catching hell, bodily ailments, all right, we're almost out of here, you know, we're closer to the end than we believe, and you know, even in the news, you see Esau getting scared, shitting his pants, you know, because they see these chariots every day and these chariots are revealing themselves unto these devils because that's how these devils are going to get, you know, taken out by them nukes and them chariots, you know, <laughs> you know, so, you know, the Pentagon, they see these chariots every day. Shoot, probably millions of them in the sky, you know. And and recently, E, e he even came out and said how he sh shot some, some of them down, which they call it UFOs, which brothers know in the scriptures is um, referred to as chariots. That's the biblical name. But we know damn well Esau ain't shoot down no chariots because you can't kill... Um, the angels, you know, Esau carnal ass weapons cannot come back with the holy angels, 
of the Lord because the angels are in these vehicles, you know, the chariots, which the chariots are a spirit itself, you know, and the Lord ain't going to allow. No, the Lord ain't going to allow that to happen. One angel itself can destro destroy the whole planet Earth. And you think Esau, carnal ass, um, uh, laser guns or whatever the type of guns they got. Because I know they got guns to shoot lasers. You think that could kill a chariot? I mean, an angel? You know? Remind me of the scripture where it says, the scripture, if it were possible, they will deceive the very elect. If it were possible, they would um, deceive the very elect. Um, and also 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, I believe. Which I mean, hold on, let me get it. I don't want to. 2 Corinthians 2. So like that. Um, for we are not ignorant of Satan devices. Yeah. You know, because uh, the <laughs> Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You know, Matthew twenty four and twenty four. For there shall rise false prophets, uh, Slakia. For there shall rise false Christ and false prophets. And shall shew great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. <laughs> but you you go apply it to this. You know, Esau, Lord willing, Lord willing, we are the hopeful elect. You know, we're we're fighting to be of that number, enduring until the end, making our calling election sure. Um, you know, Lord willing, if we are those men. But the Lord ain't. I mean, Esau ain't fooling the prophets of the Lord, you know, with that bullshit. He he fooled the two thirds, but not us. You know. God. Uh. Again, Psalm 68 and 17. This is Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of the Lord. It's like it. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Because Yahweh Shah was ultimately, um, you know, that chariot that led the children of Israel, you know. Because, you know, Yahweh Shah is all throughout the volume of the book. All right. Because Yahweh Shah, he was, he, he was the one, you know. That led them, led the uh, children of Israel. All right. In Sinai, in the holy place. You know, which is why it says, um, Psalms 40 and 7, how he come in the volume of the book. You know, Yahweh Shah is written all throughout the book. But 
the chariots are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So thousands of angels are inside these, these vehicles and they're watching over brothers, you know. You know. <sighs> Delivering us through stuff. You know, keeping us safe. Which I recently, a few minutes ago, had an Elamite trying to scam my bank account. You know, the Lord put the spirit on me to catch it. And I got my, you know, cars and stuff changed. But, you know, the Lord delivered me from that. And I prayed for it. You know, call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, but you know, not to make this long. Those angels are, are watching, and they are the Lord's eyes. You know. Uh, I get that. Sirach 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. You know, because people fear the eyes of men. You know, what they going to do to them or whatever. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousands times hotter. Slakia. Like and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Oof. So the Lord's eyes is 10 times brighter than the sun. And everybody know how bright the sun is. Like you can't even look at the sun more than five seconds without getting blind. And it says, beholding the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. So the Lord sees what you do in secret, you know, when there's no one else around. The Lord sees that. And how does he see it? He see it through his his um angels, through in those chariots. All right. Damn, that that's scary, man. That's scary. You know, the Lord is always watching, man. You know, he see you, Jake, committing adultery. He see you, you know, doing whatever wickedness you're doing. All right. So repent. All right. And I'm going to close out. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakaf Badash. I'm Taziar Gabar from Prophets of Babylon, Waco, Texas. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone and peace and salutation on down to the whole feet leg. All right. I'm going to say Shalom Ababa Basun.